Most people have been wondering how to create a powerful 3D business logo that makes their brand stand out. And not just that, how they can actually make money online with it. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to design your own professional 3D logo and use it as a tool to build and grow your business online. So, if you've been searching for the easiest way to stand out and profit, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. So you have to go to ChatGPT. Now we are here in ChatGPT. These are the first things you need to know about prompting. All right, for 3D logo. Now the first thing is when writing a prompt, you need to include this. The first thing is the type of design. All right, you have to differentiate types of design. We have 3D logo. We have different logos. All right. So this this particular one is 3D logo sign mock up. 3d logo sign mock-up then the background the background we'll be using is dark wooden wall panel with glossy finish all right so the main logo style is gold ornamental emblem with initials inside then the business name test all right then you can search for you can use any particular color for that so i'll be using bold gold and white 3d test then under says any labels or highlights okay so like a glossy red tag deals in you know when you see most of this 3d mock-up sign up you will see um this this um, deals in all right so then you write what you deal in if it's um fashion or foodstuffs or accessories whatever thing it is then services all right list clear uppercase with bullet point so this one is um contact that is your details okay realize for whatsapp or any social media then the style keywords glossy realistic and elegant so now that is it this is the first step okay so if you want to prompt it using your head or your idea so this is the steps now i'm going to turn it to a prompt so i'm going to answer all these stuff i'm going to answer it okay i'm going to answer most of this thing i'm going to then write in my names my name okay then what i do all right so i'll fill in this through the details here yeah. so this is it so for the 3d this is it the 3d logo sign up this is the 3d logo sign mock-up all right so so this is um, the background all right so this is the background dark wooden wall panel with glossy finish then the main logo style is gold ornamental then if you don't want gold ornamental you can change it to um a silver or whatever thing it is so this this is the, this is it the business name then the labels that is deals in let me say women clothing or male clothing then the services you render you done you then list out maybe women shoes bags men uh, shoes men outfit you know then the contacts then the style keywords premium glossy realistic elegant you can choose any one of them so this is what i answered the mirror beauty um Mirror fashion words. So deals in women slash men clothing. Um, serv the services, shoes, bags, female slash men wears. All right. So the WhatsApp number you place in your WhatsApp number. Then the premium glossy. The, for this last one, it has um the style keywords all right how you want your keywords to be styled so i wrote premium glows you can use realistic or elegant all right so i'm going to select generate now so now it has turned into a prompt so can you see that so this is how you prompt your um and your logo okay So this is, is a professional 3D fashion business logo sign mock-up on an elegant dark wooden wall panel. 
background with a glossy finish at the top a decorative gold ornamental circular emblem with the initials m f w inside a luxury script font below bold uppercase gold um 3d test mirror centered followed by bold white 3d test fashion world and all the rest all right so this is how you prompt okay so after that you hit um before hitting generates you have to type in um this so remember um this is the aspect ratio we're using one is one by one then this is uh, 1080 times uh, 1080 pixel that's what i'm using so i'm going to add this i'm supposed to add this there okay i show more than what to post it on instagram and facebook you should set your canvas to so i'll write to go ahead go ahead get it so it's going to adjust it has been attached so this is it now our our logo is ready so this is it isn't this beautiful so our logo is ready we can also try out some other ones okay we can try out some other ones so let's try it out so this is what i said i just want to adjust this i said i want this logo to have a display of the display of display of the service is rendered eg an image of shoe bags female wears and male wears. so i don't just want it to just generate the logo for us so i want you to have the display of those things that have been listed here okay so i'll hit generate so let's see So it's going to generate the prompts now. Oh dear. So let's hit generate image. So it's generating the image for us. You see generating the image. We are going to copy this test. We are going to copy it. So... I'm going to copy it. I'll go to my um soft copy lot. So okay. So you can download this and use it. Alright, so this is Microsoft copy lot. Okay, this is Microsoft copy lot. So I'm going to paste the same prompt here and see the results. So let's hit generate. generating the image for us so let's compare and contrast and see how it's, it's going to be now i just go to play store and download copy lot all right so just download it you can either use the browser or you download the app it is free wow this is beautiful so let me click on it so this is what it gave me this is what it gave me so this is how you download it okay as you can see image saved to your device so you can as well use this you mustn't use um chargpt because, because chargpt is a page tool so you can use it to generate four images then so this is what it gave me so let's go back to chargpt and see the results Okay, let's see ChatGPT. So this is ChatGPT. All right. So there's no much difference between this and that one. There's no much difference. So let's try out something else. Let's try out another prompt. So this is the prompt on a professional 3D fashion business logo sign mock-up on a glossy dark wooden wall background at the top. A golden circular emblem with a sewing machine and scissors plus bold initials inside. Below, bold uppercase white stairs for the brand name, followed by elegant golden script desk for the tagline Mirror Fashion Home. A descriptive slogan in smaller white 
uppercase. That this is the test. Expert in sewing on all kinds of male and female wears both English and native clothes. Then at the bottom, a row of glossy square photo frames showing showcasing sample fashion outfit, male and female. Then these are the contacts. Then the style is premium, glossy, realistic, elegant, 3D luxury. Okay, sign up. So the thing that is remaining here now is the um the aspect ratio. Okay, this is so this is the as uh, the aspect ratio. Okay. So after this, I'm gonna write generate image. Because most times if you don't generate image, I repeat to start asking unnecessary questions, which is annoying. So I don't know that questions now. So I'll write generate image. So I'll hit generate. So let's watch and see the outcome of the image. Wow, this is beautiful. Our image is ready. This is our 3D. 3D. Mock up. Sign up. Mock up. Can you see how beautiful it is? Can you see how beautiful it is? So, this actually is something that you can create at your home. You can create for people and get paid. So, if you are not making money online, you don't have an excuse. This is some things you do for people and you get paid. Then how do you get paid? How do you market this? Now, you can actually post this on your social media handles. Tell people, this is what I do. I can give you the breast. Then you show them the ones you've already done. All right? You show them the ones you've done. All right? So that is it. That is how you can make your money. So now this is the first step you are working with prompt i've already told you how to get prompt if you find this helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials now the second step to get prompt is going to pinterest can you can get inspiration from pinterest go to your play store and download pinterest all right so then i'll, I'll i've already downloaded my own I've already downloaded my own, so I'll go to Pinterest right away. I go to Pinterest. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. I can type. Um. Okay, I've seen this one. So these are some of the things you see on Pinterest. Okay. Then you can actually do it for a lot of people, for a different um. Things. So this one is for um God gets goes into God get front accessories. I'll just download it, then I'll scroll down and look for other ones. Just make your choice. Alright, so we've worked with prompt. Now we are going to work with a reference image. So I'm going to upload the image I got from Pinterest. Pinterest is Pinterest actually gave me inspiration for this. So these are most of the things I got from Pinterest. I'm going to get rid of this one. So all I'm going to tell ChatGPT now is to extract the act like a prompt engineer. Then I'll tell it to extract the prompt used on the reference image so let's hit generate this is the prompts used okay this is actually for fun that gets so All right, so this is the prompt used. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this, select the test and select all. Then I'm going to choose the one I want. I'll bring it down and choose the one I want. I'll leave others. So I'm going to copy this now. I'll go to my notepad it's here. This is the prompt, all right. So now I'm going to adjust this. All I'm going to do is to just adjust the name. I'm going to adjust the name. Let's adjust the name. So I'm going to adjust this to 
Tech. Tech Mirror Gadgets. And um, I'll scroll to this side and check if there's any other adjustments. I think this is the easiest way to create this. It won't take much of your time, but I would advise you to learn to prompt. Okay, you can do this without going here, but in most occasions, when you are, um, if you are very busy, you can just use this. To, so I'm going to paste this prompt to ChatGPT. So I will write generates a professional 3d okay so this is it just then you have to uh, still adjust and write your contact number so this contact number i'm going to write a random number okay so this location pin icon you have to write your location okay so you have to be so i've adjusted some things i need to add on some necessary things i wanted to adjust so after that i will hit generate remember this um uh, 1080 times 1080 pixel is very important and this is your aspect ratio so that it won't generate it in 9 by 16 aspect ratio okay so let's hit generate generating the image for us our image is ready so let's check it out wow this is beautiful so can you see that can you see that this is beautiful but it's um actually misspelled some things my phone number it's misspelled it apart from that everything is okay all right so i believe you've learned something today you can now do this by yourself okay and and online now you've seen how easy it is to create your own professional 3d logo and start positioning your brand online remember the right design doesn't just look good it attracts customers and grows your business thanks for watching stay creative stay consistent and keep building your digital empire with me until next time it's coach mira signing out